Hi, I'm Debbie Kelly from London Beauty Institute and I'm going to be talking to you today about hair care and hair styling. I'm now going to demonstrate how to feather someone's hair. So first of all, ensure that the hair is straight. You can't feather curly hair because you can't actually see where you're actually working from. So once you've straightened the hair, as you can see, you've now got a very uneven neckline. So I'm going to feather all this in. So get a small bit with the comb, keep your texture really firm on the person's hair and slowly raise her. And use your fingers, keeping the hair taut to your head. Keep the hand firm, keep the razor moving. And make sure you don't go in too much pressure with your razor. If you put too much pressure razor on your razor, it's going to go straight through the hair. So all the time, keep your pressure on, but not too hard on the hair. It takes all that bulk away. And then you can see you've got a nice soft finish coming on your neckline. And I'm also going to demonstrate how you would get a nice feathered fringe. So once you've got all this tapered down, Right, I'm just going to feather in this side area now a little bit. So again, the same pressure, holding the hair, keep it taut to the razor. And again, don't go in blunt, you're going to slide your razor down. Turn the model around and I'm now going to feather into the lady's fringe. So again, I've got my razor and because I'm going to be taking from a blunt fringe to a slight angle, I'm going to raise it on the diagonal to feather the fringe. So we've now got a nice sweeping action from the fringe. Keep on the diagonal to blend it in to the hairline. And we've got a nice sweep in. 